Okay then, Joe. So another piece of conduit in your hand. What are you up to today? Yeah, I've put the calculator down again and looking at bending some conduit. So this is exciting stuff. We saw in a previous video, Gary, we looked at how to get a really accurate bend into a piece of conduit from the end of the conduit yeah. to the back of the conduit. Uh, but what I want to do in this video is I want to have a look at how we now put a second bend into an already bent piece of conduit and how to get that bend perfectly accurately in place so that it drops neatly into another accessory. Because in this case, we've got two fixed points, haven't we? It's yep. not as if we could start maybe moving machineries or trunking because we've bent conduit wrong. Absolutely not. Why don't we just put a coupler in the centre here? Again, it doesn't look quite as nice. Again, that's an option, uh, but it's going to take a lot longer, isn't it, to cut it, file it, ream it, thread the ends, clean the ends. If we can just get the bend in the right place first time, we've saved ourselves an awful lot of work there. And this technique's often called on site back of bend to back of bend. Yep. And that's for reasons that we'll, we'll talk about as we start doing our measurement, because actually we'll measure from centre to centre, that's the traditional way of measuring, but then we need to just tweak that measurement so that we can then get, like you say, the back of bend to back of bend, and we'll see why that's so critical. I think it's important. Let's bring the camera in and see how you're going to measure this up before we actually take over to Conduit Bending Machine, Joe. Let's do it. Okay then, Joe, so brought the camera in and you're going to show us this measurement between, is it the centre of the box to centre of the box? That's exactly right. So we're going to first of all measure from the centre of this spout, to the centre of this spout and again the easiest way to do that is just put the end of your tape measure in the centre of one end and then measure to the centre of the other end and again if you're struggling to find the centre it's just sort of the furthest back bit of the curve so wherever the uh, back of the curve touches your tape measure that's the value so we've got these mounted at 500 millimetres between the two so that is our centre to centre measurement but when we start putting the bend in using the technique that I'm going to show you you need to know what the measurement is from the back of the bend so the back of this piece of conduit to the back of this piece of conduit so we know that the conduit that we're installing is 20 millimetres in diameter so we need to add 10 millimetres to get us from the centre to the back of that spout and 10 millimetres to get us from the centre to the back of that spout so 500 mil plus 20 mil becomes 520 millimetres and that's the critical measurement that we want for this bend. Thank you Joe. So Joe you've moved the conduit back into a bay now, uh, what's the next stage? So what we're going to do now is we're going to get the measurement put on here of where we need to uh, get the back of the bend to. So again scrap piece of conduit lined up against the edge that we're measuring off so bear in mind the front of this edge lines up with the back of this edge so they're effectively uh, the same datum so what i'm going to do is just put my tape measure against that face and then measure here the value that we spoke about which was 520 millimeters and just put that mark on there so that there is 520 millimeters and that represents where we want the back of the bend to be so that's going to bend down like so and that's what our piece of tube should look like after we've bent it okay thank you so we've measured marked up on the floor, Joe, the conduit, and you've taken it back over to the conduit bending machine. So what are you going to do now for me? So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the second bend into our conduit. Just make sure that we get the conduit into the bending machine in the correct way. Uh, this is the back edge that we measured off. So that's our reference edge. So we've put that end into the stop, and then this is the end that we're going to bend down. The mark that we put is here. So you can see that's where the back of the bend wants to be. So now it's a matter of getting the conduit lined up properly. So what we're going to do is pop a scrap piece of tube into the former and this resembles where the back edge of the conduit will be after it's bent. And then if we use our combi square to get that uh, so that the two pieces of conduit are square to each other. And then what I'm going to do is make sure that my uh, mark that I made lines up properly with the back edge of my scrap piece of conduit. So this piece of conduit is at 90 degrees to this piece of conduit and that mark is now lined up with the back edge of this piece of conduit. Now I'm almost ready to bend but what I also need to do is make sure that the end down there is actually vertical. If this is a long way out like that then it's going to bend not square. However if I just get that so that it lines up with the former and what you're trying to do is make sure that the end of the conduit is vertical as the former is vertical you're trying to get those two pieces to line up with each other then it should be ready to bend so now we can put our second bend in thank you joe so then joe you happy and ready to bend absolutely i've got my vertical piece of conduit lined up with the former i've got the back of bend mark in the right place so now we're ready to put our second 90 degree bend in so we'll do that now 
and we're aiming to get that down to 90 degrees. And I always tend to underbend it the first time. So we'll get that in to there. And that looks somewhere close. So we'll take this out of the former and we'll measure it up and we'll see if we've managed to do this correctly. So then Joe, we're back onto the floor now and you're just gonna to confirm to me that we're in 90 degrees. Uh, yeah, so we'll see if this is at 90. So we've got our piece of conduit as a datum. We've got our combi square. We'll slide that up and you can see that that is now at 90 degrees. So we're happy that we've got our two bends in correctly. We just want to illustrate one more point, one more thing we can check before we offer this up to the wall. So you've taken me over now to the bench show. So what are you going to illustrate this time? So just to illustrate one more point, when we were putting this into the conduit bending machine, we made sure that we got this end uh, lined up vertically with the conduit former and the reason for that is that we want to make sure that this and this are parallel to each other in this direction so a good way of checking that you've got that right after you've bent it is put it on a very flat surface as flat as you can get and then just push down on opposite corners if it rocks backwards and forwards then those two arms are not parallel with each other. If, however, like this, there is no rocking motion when you press on opposite corners, it means that that and that are perfectly parallel with each other in that plane. Okay then, Joe, so moment of truth. Yeah, we're gonna see if our measurements and our bending have been accurate enough to get this installed correctly. So obviously what we'd now do is cut these both to length. We'd thread the ends of those and then we'd be able to install it. But what I'm gonna do is just rest that on there for now. Okay. And if we keep the top of that nice and horizontal, what we should find, yes, that lines up absolutely beautifully with the center of that. So by using that back of bend to back of bend method, we've managed to get the center to the center of those two boxes absolutely spot on. And it saved the need to cut the conduit, make two separate bends yeah. and join it together using yeah, a coupler. Absolutely. Probably these would have been better if we were using, say, adaptable boxes where we yeah. could perhaps put couplers on, but we're just trying to demonstrate the point between two fixed places. Yeah. I believe that this technique or a modification of this technique might be one that will be needed at AM2S. Yep. And I'm going to challenge you for a third video okay. where we'll go from a fixed point up and onto a ceiling yep. and then we'll kick it either to the left or to the oh, right. Okay. Right. Technique. So we'll be using the same principle of back of bend to back of bend, but these two legs won't be going in the same direction. This one will come out that way effectively. It will. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, that makes a third video. So for this one, Joe, I think we're over and done with. Shall we end it? Yeah, let's do it. We, we hope, hope this video has been some help. help.